Imperial Fists Legion, having been founded by the first captain of the Legion, Sigismund, who was infamous throughout the legions of the Legione Astartes for his unparalleled skill in swordsmanship. Unlike most chapters, the Black Templars do not adhere to the tenets of the Codex Astartes, laid down by the Primarch of the Ultramarines, Rebute Gilliman, following the events of the Horus Heresy. While the majority of chapters were content to follow the decree of limiting the number of Astartes to 1000 per chapter, the Black Templars were not. The Black Templars have been noted to number anywhere from between 1000 to 6000 Astartes at any given time, with the chapter participating in numerous crusades. The chapter is also notorious for their savage and violent nature, with some even going as far as describing the chapter as psychotic. While this may be considered an extreme way to describe the chapter, the Black Templars do indeed hold a special regard for melee combat and the concept of honour, much like their founder Sigismund, who gained the nickname of the Black Knight due to his skill with a blade. This violent nature of the Black Templars is a stark contrast to the more stoic and disciplined nature of the other sons of the Primarch Rogal Dawn such as the modern day Imperial Fists and Crimson Fist chapters. Officially, this is due to the Black Templars being fanatical devotees to the Imperial Creed, and indeed are one of the few chapters of the Adeptus Astartes who worship the Emperor as a deity. As such, they purge entire worlds of their populations to cleanse even the faintest taint of heresy while the presence of any psychers will send them into a rage of vengeful bloodlust, as they seek to purge the witch and slay the heretic. So in essence, their violent nature and brutality seems to stem from their religious fanaticism. But could there in fact be a darker root for this behaviour? Could there in actuality be a flaw in the Black Templar's gene seed that causes them to experience such hatred and to make them so headstrong. Some chapters contain a genetic flaw that renders them into nothing more than frothing berserkers. One such example is the Blood Angels chapter, who suffer a flaw known as the Black Rage. The Black Rage, when it takes hold, turns one of the normally proud and noble warriors of the Blood Angels chapter into psychopathic killing machines, who believe that they are their Primarch Sanguinius in their final moments during the events of the Horus Heresy. They become more akin to monsters, frenzied and unstoppable, able to withstand wounds that would normally kill an Astartes, tearing apart the enemies of mankind limb from limb in brutal fashion. Much like their progenitor Legion, the Black Templar's gene seed does indeed contain a flaw. While the chapter does contain the majority of the genetic implants that are used in the creation of an Astartes, they lack two specific organs. The Betcher's gland, which allows an Astartes to spit acidic venom, and the Susan membrane, which allows an Astartes to go into a state of suspended animation. But these gene seed flaws alone would not account for the Black Templar's own savage nature, as the Imperial Fists also suffer from these specific flaws and are highly disciplined by comparison. But there is still the possibility that the Black Templars do suffer a specific gene seed flaw akin to the Black Rage found within the Blood Angels gene seed, although not to as severe a degree. As it stands, there is another successor chapter of the Imperial Fists Legion who do indeed have a major genetic flaw, the Excoriators. The Excoriators, much like the Black Templars, are a second founding chapter made from Imperial Fist stock. What makes the chapter seemingly unique amongst the other Sons of Dawn is that they suffer a unique genetic flaw within their Catalepsian node, the organ that influences the circadian rhythm of sleep and the body's response to sleep deprivation. This flaw is simply known as the Darkness. Much like the Black Rage of the Blood Angels, 
the darkness is generated from the genetic memory of the chapter's progenitor Primarch. But unlike the Black Rage, which, in grossly oversimplified terms, was the pain and rage that was unleashed with the murder of Sanguinius, the darkness is the embodiment of Rogal Dawn's sorrow and fear upon finding the mortally wounded body of the Emperor of Mankind on board the Vengeful Spirit following the Emperor's final confrontation with the arch-traitor Horus Lupercal. The excoriator's apothecary Ezraki describes within the novel The Legion of the Damned the effects of this genetic flaw in detail. When the darkness takes one of our number, it might appear to us a wretched palsy. The slackness of the jaw, the tremor of the limb, the blankness of the eye. But those who survive it report the experience as a living nightmare. A sleeping wakefulness in which they relive the bottomless woe of Dawn's most trying time. The grievous loss of our father Emperor, at least as we knew him. This is both our father's genetic blessing and his curse to his sons. To know the possibility for even a second of an Imperium without the Emperor. To feel what Dawn felt. The profound misery of a Primarch. The paralyzing fear that even one as great as he experienced for himself and for humanity over the Emperor's shattered body. To live the darkness. Given this severe genetic flaw within the excoriators themselves, as well as being a chapter who were founded around the same time as the Black Templars from the same genetic stock, mm. this means that it's entirely possible that a similar flaw within the gene seed could affect the Black Templars as well. Perhaps an embodiment of Rogal Dawn's anger and desire for revenge after his sorrow had subsided. After all, Following the events of the Horus Heresy, before his legion was divided into chapters, Rogal Dawn led a campaign of vengeance against the traitor legions, driving those heretic Astartes who remained within Segmentum Solar out of the Segmentum. This culminated with the battle known as the Iron Cage, where the Imperial Fists led by Rogal Dawn clashed with the Iron Warriors and their Primarch Perturabo where the Imperial Fists suffered devastating losses in their attempt to capture the traitor Primarch. What's important to note about this particular battle is that Rogal Dawn refused to adhere to the request of his captains to organize a retreat, and in his anger ordered his men to fight on regardless. The Imperial Fists Legion would have been wiped out entirely had it not been for the timely intervention of the Primarch Rebute Gilliman and his Ultramarines. If the hatred and rage of the Black Templars isn't simply due to religious fanaticism as hypothesized, and is instead due to impurities within the chapter's gene seed, then this could in theory result in the chapter potentially undergoing a civil war if such knowledge came to light. The warriors of the chapter would begin turning upon one another declaring their brothers as impure and tainted, and thus not worthy of existing within the Emperor of Mankind's realm. Admittedly, such a situation may seem unlikely, given the fact that the original founding members of the Black Templars were considered to be the most hot-headed and passionate members of the original Imperial Fists Legion. Nonetheless, the possibility is still incredibly fascinating to consider, after all. What do you think? Is the rage of the Black Templars due to their religious beliefs? Or does it have a root in their physiology? Leave a comment below, and thanks for watching.